Megalytic is integrated with AdWords so that you can pull AdWords data directly into your Megalytic reports. To get started, go to the Manage section under Connections and click Add a New Connection. Select Google AdWords Connection. Make sure you're logged into the Google account that has access to your AdWords. Here I'm logged into an MCC account so that when I click Accept, it's going to show me a list of all of the AdWords accounts that I have access to. Then I simply pick one and click on Connect. And you'll see here shows up in the connections uh, the AdWords account that I selected. So now if we go back over to the reports, I've set up a blank report called My AdWords Report. So we can see how the integration with AdWords works. There are four widgets for AdWords that you can select by clicking on uh, Add a Widget to open up the widget library. Here, do a search on AdWords, and you'll see all the AdWords widgets that are available. Now, the orange ones on top, those are Google Analytics widgets. This is for pulling in data that you have linked to your Google Analytics accounts from AdWords. To pull data directly from AdWords, you want to use these ones with the uh, AdWords logo in the background. So, for example, let's look at the AdWords Multi KPI. As you can see, I've uh, got one here, and uh, by default, it shows across the top the clicks, click through rate, converted clicks, and cost per converted click. We can adjust the metrics that are selected by going under metrics. Let's say we want to see uh, uh, cost, the total cost. Take this one out, put total cost in, click on apply. And uh, you now see the total cost. We can adjust the date, say the last month. So it's now showing data for May. And we can also filter this so that we only look at particular campaigns, ad groups, uh, keywords, or ads. The filtering is done inside the widget editor. Here we've selected all campaigns, but if I only wanted to pick one, I can do that as well. Now let's go look at, to see what other types of AdWords re, uh, widgets there are. Um, there's an AdWords KPI widget, which is basically like the multi KPI except for showing one particular metric. Uh, there's an AdWords campaigns widget, which by default will show you stats about all your AdWords campaigns. So here by default you can see I've got five AdWords campaigns and here's the clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and average CPC. Now let's say I wanted to look at these for oh the last uh, previous month and I want to compare that with the month before that. So in this case uh, previous month is May, the month before that is April. Uh, what I'm going to get now is a table that shows all the campaigns and the total clicks for April compared with May. And then the change and the percentage change. You can adjust the metric that's selected uh, by going in here to the column. And let's say I want to look at cost instead of clicks. I can easily do that. So now it's comparing costs from month to month. I'm going to take the comparison off, so we're now looking at just uh, the month of May. And let's look at a few of the other things you can see. So in addition to uh, segmenting the data by campaign, <clears throat> you can segment by ad group, ad, keyword, or account. Now we can um, look at keywords, for example, but uh, I'm going to want to filter that first. Let's say uh, I want to look at a specific ad group or specific campaign, um, let's say search uh, general, and uh, then I'm going to switch the dimension to keyword to look at the keywords for that particular campaign. Takes just a minute to pull that down from uh, Google AdWords, but uh, when we're done you can see you now have a report showing all your keywords in that particular campaign, the clicks, impressions, click-through rate and CPC for the month of May. 
It's easy to change the columns. As we've shown, all the widgets work the same. Inside the widget editor, there's a, a column selector right here. And let's say I want to get rid of these guys and look and set it converted clicks and total cost. So there we have cost and converted clicks. Now, lastly, we have the AdWords Networks widget, which allows you to look at really three different types of dimensions, not just networks. But uh, the networks dimension shows the number of clicks, impressions, and so on in Google Search versus dif Display versus Search Partners. We can instead look at this by device. So we can see mobile versus desktop, for example. And here's the clicks from uh, desktops versus mobile. And we can also look at this by click type. Which again shows site link clicks versus headline clicks. Now you can, like with the other widgets, you can filter this. So if you want to look at a single campaign or a single keyword or an ad group, uh, it's possible to do that as well. So that's uh, a quick summary. You can see with these four widgets, you can build some uh, very detailed reports and um, focus in on exactly what your company or your clients want to see regarding AdWords. Once you've created a report like this, you can run it every month in about 10 seconds just by going in um, and sharing it with your, your, your boss or your clients, downloading the PDF, or you can even schedule it, clicking the schedule button so that the report is sent out at the same day every month. And that's it.